Have you ever wondered how you can improve your working relationship with your boss? Well, Peggy Trebolsi Chamoon from Bait.com is back with us today on the show to let us know how we can work on this. Peggy, welcome back. Thank you. So you're going to advise us on how we can improve our relations with our boss. Now, Marwan and I have been dying to hear this. How do we go about doing it? <laughs> okay, so the core message today is how to manage your manager. Okay, oh, and I one like should that. keep this like in that, mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing to do is to really make sure that you build an, an open channel of communication consistently mm -hmm. all the way through for various reasons. First of all, to gain visibility, mm -hmm. okay, vis-a-vis -vis yourself and what you're doing, to understand what are the company's goal, issues, problems, if any, so you can perform better, all right? The next thing to do is to make sure that you have a good grip of your current role. Once you do that, you can then understand your manager better, set the expectations right, make sure that you show that you are working efficiently and you're being productive rather than merely busy. Right. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's also very, very important. Accepting feedback, okay, this is key. Your manager is here to make your life easy, but you should also make his life easy. Mm -hmm. So you should build a mutual relationship of trust and respect, mm -hmm. and you should make sure that any feedback you get, take it positively. Okay, mm -hmm. so don't rebel versus okay. criticism, because this is for your own good. Because yeah. at Peggy the end of the day, your, your manager is you know, at a position that's higher than you and you don't really want to be in that antagonize position. Antagonize them in any yeah. way. It, it <laughs> is a two-way street, right? It takes two to tango. So yeah. you, should, you should take the initiative at the end of the end. This is why we say manager, manager. It's your role mm -hmm. right. to understand and to make sure that you are doing things right. Making sure at the same time that you are on the right track, right? And you cannot do this if you don't understand what is being requested from you. And now, yeah. Peggy, if, we can, if I can just go back to what you mentioned sure. earlier about having an open communication with your manager, how do you go about building a rapport with them, um, say, without trying to force yourself on them? Do you know, if you know what I mean? Of course. As I said, things should be clear since the beginning. And you should have the state of mind that your manager is here to make you grow, mm -hmm. right? So you should also have trust in yourself and self-confidence and understand what you're doing and to continuously work on giving as well to your manager positive feedback mm -hmm. and of being thankful, mm -hmm. right? Of being thankful and not all the time taking criticism as something negative. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, your success, his success are mutual, right? He can't succeed without you and you can succeed without him. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very important that you set things right since mm -hmm. the beginning. And this open channel, this open dialogue actually makes you and him trust each other and respect each other. Or her, right? Or her. <laughs> or her, <laughs> I, I saw you use him a lot of times. <laughs> so him, her. Um, it's, it's key. It's key to really understand that there's trust, trust between the two. The next thing that is very important is to use reverse feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, You should not forget that your manager yeah. also has a boss. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they have deadlines. Mm -hmm. So you should respect that. You mm -hmm. should never lose the opportunity of thanking him or her mm -hmm. For bringing a project your way, for sending you on a course, for giving you feedback, you know, you right. should thank people yeah. for giving you feedback because this will help you enhance. Well, you were right. I definitely love the topic today, uh, but we're also going to take a look at this week's top jobs. Remember to take down those reference numbers if you want to apply for any of these jobs. Take a look. A leading provider of healthcare services is seeking an accountant with a strong command of English and Arabic and a degree in accounting. A leading business information firm is seeking a junior business development executive with a degree in the relevant discipline and strong organizational skills. A leading multinational advertising agency is seeking a digital communication executive with a degree in advertising, marketing or business administration and strong presentation skills. A leading paints and coatings company is seeking an international trainee with strong communication and analytical skills. A leading consultancy agency is seeking a communications manager with a degree in marketing or communications, over two years experience, and a strong command of English and Arabic. Peggy, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Always a pleasure.